Hello friends, I am Ashish, your instructor for this course. Uh, welcome to this promotional video. Uh, in this video, we'll talk about uh, basic configuration of two routers connected next to each other over the Ethernet links. And uh, then we'll see how we can uh, make use of CDP neighbor command to get the output or get the more in get more information about the neighbor. Uh, first of all, uh, let me uh, show it to you from the very beginning. I have this uh, GNS3 tool installed. I'll use two routers right now. Uh, for uh, installation of GNS3 tool, you can refer the website. You'll find that it's very easy to install. But anyways, uh, you can see that there are two routers and I'll need to connect each other using these interfaces. And once you are connected, uh, you have to click back on the option and let's start both of these routers from here you can individually start as well by right clicking and uh, start option so in case you want to see the name of interfaces you have to click on this one okay in case you want to hide it click back on this one and uh, i'll do one thing i'll use this option add a node section to write the ip addresses that i'll use You can see that uh, we can we can add the add nodes into this. I'll, I'm using slash thirty network just to give you uh, the idea about subnetting as well. So uh, since uh, both of these routers are up, and we can see that there is a green light, which means that these are connected logically. That is uh, through the GNS3 tool. Now I'll take you to the console section the first command I'll use is show IP interface brief to check this physical status of interfaces all of the interfaces are down like you can see on the screen that uh, I have used Ethernet 0 slash 0 so I'll configure IP address on this one since it's a slash 30 mask so the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.252 and I would need to physically enable this interface now I have enabled it you would see messages appearing okay messages have appeared which means that interface is up run the old command again show IP interface brief which tells you that IP is configured it's manually set the, the layer 1 that is a physical status is up layer 2 is up so now we'll move to the next one uh, I log in into console. Let's verify the IP addressing. Go to the config mode. Use the interface. See this uh, subnet mask and IP address has to be same. All right, has to be same in the, uh, in the sense that they should be there in the same domain. If uh, you uh, assign duplicate IP addresses then things will not work and uh, the error messages will appear now you can see that interfaces are up let's verify it again okay the interfaces are up let's try to ping the other side it will take some time and you will see okay now fine right now it is showing success of 80 percent try it again okay so it means that we are able to reach out to other end so just to verify the layer 2 connectivity uh, we can use uh, show ARP command. Show ARP shows that this uh, router's ARP table has entry of the uh, other end because we are using Ethernet. So Ethernet uh, means ARP protocol works over Ethernet and uh, all of the links except for point-to-point -point serial links. Okay, so you can see that this is the hardware address of the other end. We'll verify it. I'll log in into that uh, router just to give you confirmation about it let's see that uh, it shows that uh, IP address is this one MAC address is C801 you can verify from here this is a physical address or BIA which means burnt in address that is the address which cannot be changed so you see it C8013264 all zero it means that uh, ARP that is a layer 2 connectivity is up layer 1 like you can I told you about it this is a layer 1 it has to be up then this is a layer 2 
and this is the layer 3 addressing all right so uh, in case layer 1 is down everything will be down okay so layer 3 connectivity we verified using ping and we verified using ARP and should also know that sometime if layer 3 connectivity is down or physical connectivity is down the uh, ARP entry still remain present in your router console the reason is that uh, because the ARP timer is 4 hours so you may have to flush it sometime just like it clear up but don't do it so often in your real environment if you if it is up then you would see it again see the entry has appeared again zero minute it means it has appeared zero minutes ago and the dash means that it is uh, local to itself so there is no timer associated with that okay so let's move to show CDP neighbor CDP CDP stands for Cisco discovery protocol it's a proprietary protocol of Cisco to discover its neighbors the neighbors which are of Cisco all right like uh, we are using um, Cisco's devices in in this case like I have to router one router two belong to this vendor so the first command is show CDP neighbor okay CDP is enabled by default on all of its devices all of Cisco vendor devices so in case you want to disable it you can do it but let's understand the importance of this command show CDP neighbor uh, you can see that it has to it has given you information that this is a neighbor device R1 R1 is a neighbor on R2 so R1 is neighbor to R2 it's local interface local interface that is the interface of R2 your device it is this one hold down time actually and there is a timer of CDP uh, if it doesn't get the response the layer to CDP packets uh, then it will remove this entry and it tells you about the capability of that router the neighbor router it says routing switching and IGMP IGMP means this router is supporting the multicasting all right IGMP is a type of multicasting platform the hardware model it is giving you detail the port ID of the remote the mode that is R1 we are on R2 right now and it tells you about the interface being used at the R1 so if you want more detail of it you just uh, use the keyword show CDP in neighbor detail or you can say show CDP neighbor uh, Ethernet 0 slash 0 space detail because there could be multiple interfaces on the router so you can see that it now gives you the IP address of the neighbor see I want I want to tell you that even if layer 3 connective is down okay uh, e even then it will give you the IP address configured on that router that router interface of CDP so it can be wrong IP address if you configure wrong IP address okay that's because IP addressing is a layer 3 and MAC address is a layer 2 CDP is a layer 2 CDP CDP gathers the information about the interface and gives gives it to its neighbor so even if the IP address is wrong it will still be there so don't assume that if IP is there layer 3 is up it is not like it and platform like like I told you Cisco 2610 is the model capability router switch IGMP multicasting local interface port ID means interface actually both both sides have same interface that's the reason that we are seeing it it has same interface it also tells you about the iOS software that the neighbor has the internet network operating system 2600 advanced enterprise k9 m image version in this one release software is fc1 so and also it gives you information about the duplex duplex is half even if your duplex is off or incompatible it will give you that detail so CDP neighbor is one of the best protocols if you should be aware of in case you are you are using it alright like we have uh, if you want further detail show CDP see show CDP traffic show CDP uh, entry show CDP entry it will give you all the entries it's better that you use this command show CDP neighbor that is enough okay in case you want to disable it you can do it because sometimes engineers or administrator do not want the detail to be shared you can go into this one no show no CDP enable okay or CDP disable maybe 
no there is only one command no no is a aryasi protocol command there is a negative command of every, every uh, normal client no ctb enable will disable it actually it takes time to unless the timers go show cdp you see show cdp interfaces or simply enter okay here is a cdp packets are sent every 60 second hold down is 180 second that is three minutes before any changes is made sending cdp version 2 advertisements is enabled even if it doesn't let me try to check it at this end so it will take some time because uh, we have to wait till three minutes time to uh, exchange the packet that's a whole long time so you've learned about cdp right this is called discovery protocol in case you want to learn about lldp that is a link layer discovery protocol that's open standard but this router is not uh, supporting it it also you also need to have valid ios image that supports lldp it's similar to like open standard wherein all the devices can be seen using lldp show lldp is a command it is not active right now so you learned about uh, cdp which is my favorite command in cisco environment and also to tell you that cisco switches cisco routers or uh, ip phones can be tracked over this but uh, cisco asa uh, that is the cisco firewalls cannot be seen using show cdp name because firewall is actually a security device you don't want to be um, uh, exposing that in uh, into cdp all right so that's the way you can track these things so i hope that it's been informative to you and i would like to thank you for viewing thank you so much